Hello everyone, welcome to the series of Econometrics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In part 8, I am going to discuss the concept of multicollinearity. So first I am going to discuss the meaning of multicollinearity, then examples and sources of multicollinearity. You can find other topics of econometrics on my YouTube channel. You can also find videos on SPSS, R Studio, and Economics. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Let's begin with the introduction. Now, the idea of multicollinearity is associated with multiple linear regression model. So suppose our multiple linear regression model y is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus mu. So we estimate parameters or regression coefficients alpha, beta 1, beta 2 through OLS method. And we know that OLS gives based linear unbiased estimate. Now, if some assumptions are violated, we are not going to get the based linear unbiased estimator through OLS method. So what is the meaning of multicollinearity? Now, in our regression model, we assume that x1 and x2, our independent variables are not correlated. So multicollinearity occurs when two or more independent variables in a regression model are correlated. So if x1 and x2 are correlated, then we have the problem of multicollinearity in our regression model. And this makes it difficult to determine the individual effect of each independent variable on the dependent variable. So we are interested to know the effect of x1 on y, individual of individual effect of x1 on y and individual effect of x2 on y. But if x1 and x2 are correlated, then it becomes difficult. See this example. Suppose we want to study the effect of interest rate and investment spending on national income. So a dependent variable is national income. Independent variables are two rate of interest and investment spending. Now we know that rate of interest and investment spending are associated with each other. They are correlated and therefore it is difficult to measure the individual effect of rate of interest on income and individual effect of investment spending on income. And therefore we have the problem of multicollinearity. Now what are the sources of multicollinearity? Why we have this problem? So first source or first reason is data collection method. So suppose we have limited sampling, limited sampling over a restricted range of values of independent variables. See this example. Suppose household income determinants like education, level, work experience and geographic location, we are studying these variables. If the sampling method targets urban areas, and individuals with higher education levels. Now, since we have only limited variation in educational big backgrounds, this could result in a strong correlation between education level and work experience in the sampled data. So if our sampling is limited, then we might have the problem of multicollinearity. Second is overdetermined model. The concept of an overdetermined model refers to a situation in regression analysis when there are more explanatory variables, that is, independent variables included in the model than the number of observations. So that means independent variables are greater than number of observations. Then we have the overdetermined model. And this could lead to multicollinearity. Third is redundant variable. Multicollinearity can arise when one predictor variable is redundant or provides similar information as another predictor. See this example. Suppose we are studying factors affecting student performance and include both total study hours per week and study hours per subject. 
Now, these variables may highly may be highly correlated since total study hours can be inferred from study hours per subject. So, in this case, two variables give us this similar information and therefore, we have the problem of multicollinearity. Fourth is existence of identities. So this existence of identities or definitional relationships among variables can contribute to multicollinearity. See this example. Income is equal to saving plus consumption expenditure. Now this is a definitional relationship that income is bifurcated into two parts, saving and consumption expenditure. Now if you, if you include both these variables, then you have the problem of multicollinearity. Fifth common trend. The reason for multicollinearity, particularly in time series data, can be attributed to the inclusion of independent variables that exhibit common trend. For instance, regressing consumption expenditure on income, wealth and population. So our idea, independent variables are income, wealth and population. They share or they, they experience a similar growth or decline during during the specified period. So they follow the common trend and therefore we might have the problem of multicollinearity. So this is the concept of multicollinearity. If you find it useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.